All right, today we're going to be doing this uh, EP Tarantula Crab. Uh, we'll be doing it the CW Flies way by adding just a little bit different material, but overall pretty much the uh, the same pattern here. Great little pattern for uh, bone fish and permit, especially if you're looking for something light. So we're going to start off, this is a uh, number 6 uh, SA220. And we have some tan uh, 140 denier thread. I'm going to start out just going a couple wraps behind the eye of the hook. Oh, we got about seven wraps, maybe eight wraps there, something like that. And I'm going to make this light just because I'm going to be throwing these pretty shallow. So we're going to go with some uh, brass eyes, but you can definitely put lead eyes on these or even B chain uh, you know whatever you need for for your situation and just kind of figure them on there get them nice and straight Then we'll just lay down a little base thread here behind the eyes. The next material that we're going to grab is going to be uh, this fox fur here. This is an uh, arctic fox. And we're just going to grab ourselves a little clump of that. So, nice little generous clump. And then if I can find my comb, go ahead and comb some of the uh, butt sections out here. Alright, so we'll get those butts out of the way. And we want to pick out these long fibers too. So we want to stay with really just the short fibers and get them down to where they're all everything's about the same length so you'll end up picking a pretty good amount out of here uh, you don't have to use fox for this part uh, if you don't like how long this little piece here takes to kind of get your fox all kind of down to the uh, length that you're really going to want it at uh, rabbit fur works fine here um, I think the original the original uh, pattern that you would get from uh, EP. They just use a little folded over piece of EP fiber for the mouth. I like using just a natural fiber here. You get a little more movement, kind of looks like that mouth is moving for you. All right. You're gonna get this right off the back of the fly. You can see all these are a lot lined up now. You want this just off the back and slightly down the bend of the hook here. And go ahead and tie that in tight. All right, we'll advance our thread back to right behind the eye. And the next thing we're going to add in is a couple strands of crystal flash. Well, always nice just to have a little flash coming off the back mouth area. So fold our two strands of crystal flash over and just tie right down the hook. And work our thread right back up behind the eye again. So the next thing I'm going to add is this is uh, just round rubber leg. Uh, it's already barred brown. I think it's tan barred brown. But you don't have to use rubber legs. I mean, any type of silly legs or anything will really work for this part. And then same thing that we did with the crystal flash, just tie it right down. Kind of make sure this is secure good. Perfect. And we're going to cut our crystal flash just a little longer than the fox here, and then. We're going to do about the length of the hook plus the um, 
the mouth, so about that much off the back for our antenna. I don't want to make the antenna there too long. I mean, really gives it more of like a little shrimpy vibe, but we like it for crabs as well. So now we're going to add a uh, little egg sack on this pattern. This is just uh, EP Tarantula Brush. So it makes a nice little egg sack to go right here behind the head. Tie that in. You don't need too much of this. I mean, just two or three wraps will be plenty. Just one wrap right behind the other. And we'll come back here and capture this wrap. Take our bad scissors to cut this out. And just make sure we wrap that in good and tight so it doesn't come undone on us. All right. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add our eyes. These are uh, just the crustacean eyes from my, uh, from my site. These are the medium size. But, I mean, definitely if you don't want to be making your own eyes, these things are perfect. And we want to tie these in on either side just so it's going to be just past the hook. Get a couple wraps. And we'll kind of just tie that stem in here. one on one side and one on the other so you'll be able to see it's just past the hook and I'm tying the the full stem in down the body just because it helps with the bulk of the uh, body a little later on in this fly so now we're just going to take these eyes, just a couple wraps on the inside of them, just to prop them out a little bit from the uh, from the head and the egg sac. That should be perfect. You can see they're not propped up a ton from it, but just enough to to make a difference there. So now we're going to add some woolly critter brush. The woolly critter is a little different from the tarantula brush. The actual fibers are a little thicker and the, uh, the legs are going to be a little bit longer. But it's still that, um, I believe it's a one, a, what is it, one half inch size. And we're going to go ahead and tie this right behind the eyes. And we're going to start when we wrap it by just propping out the eyes a little bit more. So we're going to get a wrap right on the inside of that eye. And when we come back around, get a wrap right on the inside of the other eye. And then I'm going to do one wrap in front of the eyes. Try to make it pretty tight here if I can. And there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to capture that with the thread. I'm going to try to capture it as far back as I can. And then I'm going to cut it out of the way. We're going to retie it in in just a second. I like to cut it out of the way. You can, you can leave it on there if you really want to, if it doesn't bother you. But it kind of bothers me when I tie in the claws. So. It just kind of covers up the egg sac a little bit. And now we're going to add our claws. These are uh, these are the actual claws that EP sells. Uh, they're just chenille. Uh, 
you can use uh, either micro ultra chenille or uh, or standard ultra chenille. Either size will work depending on how big of a claw you want. Uh, the original pattern of this that's on the EP site is a size one, so you might not want to use the micro size. You might want to use the uh, the standard. But we have the actual EP one, so we'll just use theirs for now. And we're gonna get this claw so that this top knot here pretty much lines up with the eye. And we're just gonna tie that in on the side of the body here. And we'll do the other one, same thing on the other side. Perfect. Now I got those claws that because of that tarantula brush, they're gonna always kind of stick out for you. Now we can go ahead, put our tarantula brush back on. And where's our aqua pliers just to help keep this a little straighter. And we can start tying this in. Nice tight wraps going all the way to the lead eyes, or not the lead eyes, the uh, brass eyes. So used to tying this with lead, but we're doing these ones lighter. And go ahead, make it as as dense or as light as you want. Make this one a little denser, just because I know I'm gonna cut out some of that here in a second. And we'll capture that right in front of the eyes. And again, cut it out with our bad scissors. All right. So now with the body, we're going to go ahead and kind of brush these out, make sure any of the fibers that got trapped kind of get out of there. We want the uh, the legs if they got trapped in there anyway to get those out as well. I mean you could most certainly fish the fly just like this. I mean it's not really going to hurt anything. But we're going to go ahead and clean the body up a little bit. So we're going to use our uh, our little razor tool here from uh, Stefona. And I'm just going to kind of flatten both the top and the body of this fly a little bit. The great thing about this tool is if you go decently slow, you'll cut the EP fibers on this brush, but you won't cut the legs. And that's why I'm not using scissors here, because I want to leave as many legs as possible so you can see I'm trying to just move these legs kind of out of the way so I don't cut as many of them. But also this, this tool won't end up cutting legs like you would with scissors. And it's a little more time consuming, but having having more of those those little micro legs on there, I mean just just adds more movement on the fly when it's sitting still. You know, feel like it gives that fly a little bit more lifelike uh, feel to it. All right. Then we'll put a little bit of a bend in this tool. We'll kind of clean up the sides a little bit, which also is gonna, by putting that bend in there, is gonna round off those sides a little bit too, give it a little bit more of a crab shape to it.
Alright. And then go ahead, just finish off the head. Uh, I'm not going to add a weed guard to this one. You can definitely add a weed guard if you want it. We'll add some whip finishes there. Do one more thing of whip finishes just to make the head look a little bit more neat. And as always, get a little bit of uh, loon flow on the head. Just protect those thread wraps. And if you get some in the eye of your hook like I just did, no big deal. You can always get that out of there. So as you can see, I, I trapped some loon flow in the eye. Not a big deal. I'm just going to go ahead and hit it with the light anyway. Could have poked it, but I feel like sometimes when I poke through it beforehand, some of it still ends up getting trapped. So I'm just going to go ahead, take my botkin, light it up. And that'll poke through that epoxy. Okay, clean that head up some. Alright. And just if you got any little straggler fibers that made it through, you can come through and kind of cut them out. You know, if you need to shape anything up here. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the EP uh, tarantula crab. So now you got your little crab body and nice little crab that you can throw on the flat. You can throw this uh, redfish, bonefish, permit, you know, whatever will take a little crab. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. And yeah, if you like the uh, video, please uh, subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot. Thanks for watching.